Ranchers aren't really good at sitting and waiting, and that's kind of what we've had to do is sit and wait. Kirby Stensard and her husband began raising cattle two years ago. Her parents are also ranchers. It's a family tradition that dates back over 100 years. Now their near 600 head of cattle have been placed under quarantine. My husband and I ourselves are nearly 300, and then combined with my mom and dad, we're up near 550, 600. Stensard said they, like many others under the quarantine, have been given no indication on when their cattle will be tested. Testing takes a long time and results take a long time and so we're looking at into the new year for sure to having to feed all these calves. It costs tens of thousands of dollars every month to keep those animals fed and with no income from cattle sales, the future is uncertain. It affects our income for this year but it also affects our income for next year and our ability to pay our loans and continue on. Brad Osadchuk, whose ranch is at the heart of the bovine TB investigation, was in Ottawa this week. He met with several MPs and government officials to explain the situation and says they were receptive. They heard all our stories and they asked a lot of questions after and I think I think we I think we got through to them. I, I hope we did. It seemed like everybody was was fairly understanding. Osadchuk says his bank accounts are overdrawn by hundreds of thousands of dollars, and he's not the only one. He now hopes the government will step up and help ease the financial strain these families are facing. There's a lot of people under a lot of stress and and a different kind of stress than in they've ever you know had in their life before. Meanwhile, the Alberta beef producers say they are working with the province to get financial support for the ranchers through Ag Recovery. The Ag Recovery program was designed for this type of incident, uh, this type of disaster. So um, that process is happening and that is to cover uh, incremental costs that were unforeseen. Until that happens, Brad and Kirby say they're relying on support from friends, family, and the community. Everybody is, is hoping and praying for us. You know, we're all spread out over a wide, vast of areas, but we all come together. Leah Murray, Chat News.